Many centuries ago in ancient Greece, a mathematician named Pythagoras demonstrated an interesting truth about triangles. He demonstrated that if a triangle is a right angled triangle and you make a square on each of the three sides, the largest square has the exact area as the other two squares put together. The longest side of the right angled triangle is the hypotenuse. So the formal definition of Pythagoras' theorem is, in any right angled triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So in a triangle whose hypotenuse is C, the square of A plus the square of B is equal to the square of C. Let us see if this really works using an example. A right angled triangle has sides 3 cm, 4 cm and 5 cm. Let's check if the areas bear out the truth of the theorem. 5 squared equals 25 and 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 9 plus 16 which is also equal to 25. This proves that Pythagoras' theorem is true. But suppose we don't know what the length of the hypotenuse is. If the other two sides have lengths 5 and 12, we know we can square them and add them to get the hypotenuse squared. So, 5 squared plus 12 squared equals c squared. c squared equals 169. To find the value of C, which is the hypotenuse, we have to find the square root of 169, which is 13.